Yum, 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 yum. This is delicious. Άρθωνα τώρα να βάλει φωτογραφίες. You can easily eat two or three of them in one go. I have just arrived in Athens, Greece for a three-day mission to find the best souvlaki, gyros and kebab in the city. I have searched the internet and read plenty of articles from local newspapers and websites as to who they think the best places are and I've managed out of around 60 odd places to narrow them down to just 12 or 13, I don't remember exactly. So in just three days, I have to visit all those places and try them out. <sighs> My stomach is waiting in anticipation and I think I'm gonna have to book an extra seat on my flight back to the UK after this three day period. But hey, the things I do for you, eh? Welcome once again to the Grigosovi channel. My name is Tom, all the way from Athens, Greece. Let's start eating. <laughs> Now, throughout this tour of Athens, I'm going to be posing a little bit in this video and giving you a little bit of information about the places that I've visited. I've recorded this information after my return back to the UK. That was mainly because during my visit in Athens, there were still COVID restrictions, so you could not spend a lot of time indoors. You have to wear face masks, face masks. And some of those places were tiny, so they could only allow one person at a time to go inside place their order, come outside, wait and get their order and leave. The first place of my visit was near Sindagma Square, which is one of the main squares uh, in Athens, where the parliament is, the Greek parliament, and quite a lot of tourists visit it. Get a slight vinegary taste. It's nice and tasty. A little bit on the dry side. And I expect it to be a little bit more tender and juicy. So this is the beef taki one. This is delicious. Beef mince, tomato. I think it's yogurt, not tzatziki. Chopped parsley and onions. This is really nice, really, really soft, juicy beef taki. Mm. I can easily eat two or three of them in one go. This is really nice. And it's got a nice spicy aftertaste. Really nice spicy, so that's really good. I like spicy food. Uh, now it's a tiny place, but a lot of good things uh, from the locals and everybody who likes traditional kebab came. Uh, the place opened in 1950 uh, and currently, as I uh, am told, is the uh, grandson of the owner uh, that is running it. Uh, it's quite popular for the traditional pork souvlaki uh, skewers uh, and also their bifteki, their minced meat sort of um, with uh, pita. They don't use uh, tzatziki in, uh, in their uh, pitas, uh, they use uh, just yogurt. As the story goes, the uh, place opened back in 1950 uh, at the time or uh, in those periods where tomatoes tasted like tomatoes and the ingredients were fresh. 
and the tradition is still, is still kept in this place. Uh, very clean, very tidy inside, uh, and they have very few things on their menu, which they make uh, very good. Uh, I arrived just uh, after opening time and there was already a queue of people waiting to place their orders. A very popular uh, place. Costas is definitely a very popular place there. My next visit was to another Costas, this time located in the Ayerini Square. A nice little square and uh, very popular with locals and tourists alike. Pork black is really tender, really juicy. Perfectly marinated and you can taste your oregano. And this is the beef beef taking with the extra spicy sauce. Then I can see is that jalapeno peppers maybe. Give it a go. So the the pita beef taki is really tasty. I've ordered extra spicy. It's spicy. I wouldn't say it's overwhelmingly spicy. It's just a nice touch, but the the sauce, the spicy sauce is great. Um, this is definitely a place worth getting. The pork souvlaki, ah, oh, amazing. And it's located in a nice square by the church. Um, so you can sit outside and enjoy it, really nice. I was really amazed with the pork souvlaki. Uh, really tender, really juicy. It melted in the mouth, perfectly seasoned. Really, really good. And the kebab was also really, really good. Nice and soft and melting in the mouth. Uh, I didn't find the sauce as spicy as I expected it, but mainly that's because Greeks don't really eat a lot of spicy food unless you're in Northern Greece. Uh, so, you know, that level of spiciness was enough for them. Uh, but personally, I would have expected it a, a lot more spicier. Nevertheless, a great second stop to my tour. The next place to visit was near Omonia Square, uh, another popular square in Athens. Although I have to admit nowadays Omonia Square um, does not look anything like its good old days. Uh, and the place is Lefteris or Lefteris or Politis. Politis is a Greek that came from Asia Minor. Um, as I recall, it's a third generation uh, <laughs> group of people that run it nowadays uh, and they offer Suzukakia as well. I have to admit that its location um, was not easy to find uh, but nevertheless it was full of locals waiting to be served. Uh, it was constantly busy. It looked very clean inside. There was a lot of staff working in there which you know means that they are quite busy. And the way they prepare and cook the meat is influenced, obviously, from the cuisine of Asia Minor. So expect a tiny little bit of hint of spiciness in there. I tried the suzukaki in pita bread, 
which I have to admit, it was nice, it was tasty, uh, but I didn't find it spicy enough. Uh, it was nice and juicy. Obviously, you cannot get a proper feel of the place with just one visit. So it could be that just on this occasion, what I ordered and I had, um, it, it wasn't as tasty as I would have expected it. It was tasty, uh, but given the very good reviews uh, that I found, um, I, I find it slightly underwhelming. I would have, I have expected it a lot more spicier, but nevertheless, it was tasty. And given that the amount of people and locals that uh, went there and, uh, and ate, uh, I show me that it definitely deserves a second and third visit before I can give you a proper, honest opinion. So the next place I visited was Volvi. It's located just at the entrance of Varvakios uh, Market, which is one of the main uh, meat markets uh, in Athens. They get their meat from the butchers that <laughs> are in there. And you can find Suzukake, which is sort of small minced, uh, minced meat, um, uh, little kebabs looking things, uh, and uh, pork souvlaki. Um, they don't use any potatoes in their pitas and the size of the pitas is quite interesting. Uh, just the right amount so you don't get full up in case they're expecting you at home for proper lunch or dinner. Now because I've already visited three places on the same day before Volvi, I was really full up. So I have taken Volvi's Suzuki in the pita at home to eat for the evening. So yes, it is not as warm. So you can see it's, it's, it's a bite-sized pita. Okay. And it's filled with pukovo, which is chili flakes and mustard as well and tomato. No tzatziki. So let's give it a go. Yum, 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 yum. Let's see. Now I can easily eat a few of them. They're so bite-sized. So there's two Suzuki's in there, onions, tomato, and a little bit of bukovo, I cannot see a lot of bukovo, and obviously mustard. The Suzuki is really nice. And I can definitely, <laughs> I can definitely see when this comes out nice and hot. Um, and you're hungry, you can eat more than one, by far, more than one. This is just like a, a tiny starter and you order more and more and more. But this is really nice, this is really nice. After all the eating today in Athens, <laughs> I'm not really that hungry. But having eaten the first one, I've, 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 I took two with me, just in case I get hungry in the evening. And uh, I had the first one, and it kind of whet my appetite for the second. I will try to eat the Suzuki on its own, just to grasp its taste. It's nicely seasoned, it's really tasty. And the mustard really complements it. It blends really nice together. I started my tour on this particular day from Elvis. 
And yes, <laughs> um, what a great place. Uh, obviously, it seems that the owners uh, are fan of Elvis Presley because the whole uh, place is decorated with record sleeves, posters of the king of rock and roll himself. Uh, but when it comes to food, oh my God, I wish I had the whole day to spend there because I opted for the recommended, let's say, uh, thing to try there, and that is pancetta. Pancetta in Greece is like a thinly cut pork belly that is grilled, so it's nice and tender and, and juicy. Uh, so I've ordered a portion of pancetta, with, which comes with, chi uh, with chips and uh, some kind of yellow sauce, it emulated mustard, but it wasn't mustard. It was uh, apparently um, one of the speciality tips of the place. As you can see in the video, it is absolutely delicious. I had the whole thing. It costs only about eight euros, nine euros maximum. Uh, but when I looked at the menu, they had all sorts of things, different kinds of Greek sausages. They had uh, goat meat as well, souvlaki. They had a lot of variety in them. Uh, that I wish that I could have uh, uh, sampled, maybe in my next visit to Athens. Um, but all I have to say, I ate that portion without uh, stopping for break because it was so nice. The meat was so tender and juicy. It was great. Uh, from what I hear, the place uh, it used to be a butcher shop and they decided to turn it into a souvlaki place. Uh, so obviously they know their way around meat and around the cuts of meat and how to cook proper meat. So kudos to Elvis. That was a great start to my morning. Now, hookat is a fairly new addition to the Athenian life. Uh, it's not what you call your traditional uh, kebab place. Uh, and the partners, the business partners there have, I think, two or three other restaurants in Athens. And you might recognize the place because when Gordon Ramsay and Dino de Campo did their tour of Greece, they visited that place uh, when they went to Athens. Um, from around my research there, I wanted to try their skepasti. Now, skepasti, for those you don't know, uh, is a pita bread flat on the bottom, uh, filled with the meat and all the ingredients that will go normally in a pita uh, bread, and then topped with another uh, pita bread on top. It's basically like having two pizza bases, one at the bottom, one at the top, and in the middle, the whole filling of the pizza. And the meat of that particular skepasti I ordered was from goat, young goat. Uh, so that was great. But they have a wide variety of portions and meats. The place is run like a busy, uh, I would say, I, I, I don't like using the, 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 the word franchise because it's not a franchise. Um, uh, but, you know, the, the staff there, you know, each one have their own posts, you know, and they, they, they basically go uh, about their business. But it's absolutely buzzing. Uh, there are spaces inside, but mainly spaces outside. And all the time that we were there, you know, one table will empty and somebody else will come in. The place was filling up non-stop. I have to say that the way they cook the meat and the ingredients that they used uh, slightly differ from the traditional way of, of doing things. Uh, but nevertheless, especially the young generation of Greeks have voted with their mouths uh, because a place as popular as that really deserves to be tried and tested by yourself as well. My next stop was Achilleas or Achilles in English. And in the same way that Achilleas or Achilles uh, was a famous Greek warrior in ancient Greece. Um, Achilleas <laughs> in that particular place is famous for his gyro, his pork gyro. So um, I had to try it. 
And I have to say, it is, if not the best, one of the best gyros, pork gyros that I had in my entire life. And believe you me, I have quite a few <laughs> of them in my life. Um, apparently, uh, he makes its own gyro. He marinates the meat using his own specific recipe. He's only open for a few hours throughout the day. He's not open th every single day or from morning till evening. Uh, but the meat was unbelievably good. And the pita bread was properly nice uh, grilled. Uh, the, the right amount of crispiness on the outside, perfectly seasoned. It was just amazing. And uh, it's just unfortunate, unfortunate, typical, that by that time I had already eaten quite a bit uh, and I could only manage one uh, pork gyros in pita bread. Uh, otherwise, I could have stayed there and eaten a few more. Uh, but I have to say, if you're looking for an amazing um, pork gyros in pita in Athens, Achilleas is the place to go. Another place that came high in my recommendation list is Lefteris in the Nea Zmirni Square. Δεν βγάζω φωτογραφίε, παιδί μου, βίντεο βγάζω. Βίντεο Έτσι, το ζουμερό το πυρηνό. Το βλέπει μπροστά του στην οθόνη, τη γιγαντοθόνη να Now, there's a bit of a backstory to uh, Eleftheris in that his father, if I remember correctly, back in the 1950s, learned the trait of how to make a very good souvlaki from an, Ar an Armenian. Uh, and then uh, he didn't open a shop, but he was uh, selling souvlakis from his son's uh, cot. <laughs> he, he put the cot which was in the wheels um, and he was selling souvlakis from there. He became very popular and opened uh, a shop, um, initially not in Esmini Square, uh, but because of the popularity, he moved out of there and he opened one in Nezmirni. Um, now, if you don't know your where are Athens, uh, Nezmirni uh, is for me one of the most beautiful squares in Athens. Uh, it's large. Um, if you don't want a touristy place, uh, but if you want to experience the Athenian style of life, uh, by all means go there because it's full of cafes, uh, full of uh, places to eat. Uh, there's uh, parks, uh, there's places for kids to play. You will see a lot of Greek kids running around playing football or whatever. Uh, it's surrounded by shops, so you can do a bit of shopping there. And once you're tired and you want something to eat, Lefteris is there uh, for that. Uh, so I sat with a group of very good friends uh, to sample what he had to offer. Uh, I think personally I got the pork souvlaki and also uh, one of the kebabs that he make on the skewer. Um, really nice, really tender, both of them. Uh, and there was a particular ingredient in the kebab that I liked, uh, but I couldn't make out what it was. Uh, and obviously, uh, we couldn't we couldn't get the secret ingredient in there uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, but as I said, definitely one of the places to go and enjoy uh, traditional Greek souvlaki and gyros uh, and other varieties that have quite an extensive menu uh, and enjoy the square as well. Next stop, Thomas Kebab. And as the word says, you go there to eat kebabs. Uh, from what I've heard, the initial owner came from Armenia. Uh, he was what is called a modelist um, initially and then decided to open a kebab shop. That's a good story, uh, which is currently run by his son. 
Uh, and uh, everyone that uh, I've spoken to said that you have to try the kebabs there. And uh, we might just say no. Uh, so we visited the place. Uh, he makes his own kebab, which is made from beef and lamb mincemeat. And it has only got salt and onions. And that's it. Nothing else in there. Um, it's grilled on charcoal over nice uh, long uh, skewers. Uh, and as you can see in the video, it is really nice, really juicy. Uh, as it comes out nice and hot, if you're hungry, you don't need any pita breads or anything. You can just line up a few of them and eat them on the go. Oh, this looks delicious. This looks delicious. Kebab on the charcoal, spicy. I am so looking forward to that. Mm. Oh, it really melts in the mouth. It's so tender. It's not as spicy as expected, but it definitely has the right amount of herbs in it. And just paprika, tomato, and onions, and a little bit of parsley, and that's it. Pita, really nice. Really nice. Oh, I'm thoroughly enjoying my kebab right now. Even though I'm full up of all the previous kebabs I've eaten so far in Athens, this is so tender, this is so juicy. Oh, it goes down really easily. Thomas kebab, this is definitely great visit is Mimi's and this is a place where the owner or the co-owner because I think there's a couple or a few co-owners there uh, is really um, taking the next step let's say to the traditional gyros because they are creating their own pita bread which is thinner like instead of the traditional one and also is using uh, some cuts of meat that are not really in the in the tradition that you normally have uh, not only that, but he has creating some uh, particular dips that are not your traditional ones, using, for example, walnuts uh, and other ingredients, or even hazelnuts, uh, with a combination of other stuff. A slightly unusual combination. Now, the pita bread is slightly thinner, as you can see here. And this is beef or veal meat. To go Proper chunks of meat. really tender and just and unusually for a Greek pita it's got carrot and lettuce metzovone cheese a very nice smoked cheese and a special dip from this place made of aubergines so it doesn't have the usual tzatziki each meat has its special combination of sauce so a great dive into it Very unusual, and as I said, not the usual pita bread. They, I think, they made it here as well. Meat very tender. And the lettuce and the carrot has a drop of vinegar as well. So it's as if it's grilled meat, grilled beef with sort of a pickled, carpet, uh, pickled lettuce and carrot and the aubert, um, aubergine dip. It's really nice. Θα το έχω από κάτω παιδί, τα subtitles. Τώρα δεν μπορώ να του μιλάω στα αγγλικά. Για την ακρίβεια είμαστε 
Για την ακρίβεια μας είναι οι με τον Μίμι. Ωραίος, ωραίος. Και για πες μου τώρα, με ειλικρίνεια, από το μενού, εάν έχεις να διαλέξεις ένα που το τρως συχνά, ποιο είναι. Το κεπά βαρνί. Όχι, όχι, και το μοσχάρι είναι το δεύτερο αγαπημένο. Στην επόμενη επίσης, στην επόμενη μου. Τέλεια. Αν δεν έχεις κάσει από αυτό. Ε, είναι ανησυχή. Και για πες και ένα μήνυμα για τους φιλάτους της United. Ελπίζω να πάμε καλύτερα του χρόνου. Πολύ χρόνο. Σε λεπιτήρια σε όλους μας. <laughs> Τι να πω. Και για τις Λίβερπουλ. Αυτά να τα μεταφράσεις. Πάει πολύ καλά η ομάδα της Λίβερπουλ. Πιστεύεις θα πω. σηκώσουμε και τα τέσσερα τρόπια φέτος. Δύσκολο. Δύσκολο, ε. Δύσκολο, δύσκολο. Και τα τέσσερα δύσκολο. Ε, την Πρέμιερ την πιστεύω φέτος στη Λίβερπουλ. Μπορεί και το Σέμπερς Λίγκ. Άσο το Έχουμε πολλά τσάπιες, οπότε θα πάρει και κάποιες άλλες. Άστο τσάπιες, άστο τσάπιες. Γεια σας όλους. Ωραία. So this is the chicken kebab in pita. And you can see the chicken here. And it's got lettuce. And it's got mushrooms as well, grilled mushrooms. And some sort of a dip made of hazelnuts. Which is very unusual. So looking forward to that. And one and two and three. This is nice. Unusual combination. I'm not sure how popular it will be with, with the traditionalist Greeks because the combination of hazelnut taste and chicken, I don't know how the Greeks will, uh, will adopt it. Chicken, chicken mince. Okay, really well grilled, juicy, tender. It goes really well with the grilled mushrooms. Again, the only question mark, it would be how the traditional Greeks will feel about the hazelnut dip. For me, I like the combination. It takes it away from the traditional gyros into a more gourmet style kebab. I like it. Definitely something to try if you're around this area. And as the owner said, or a co-owner, the, the lamp as well is great, but as I have <laughs> more visits to, to follow, uh, I don't have enough space in my stomach for a third one. So as I said in the video, if you want to get away from the traditional ingredients uh, and combinations of a Greek gyros or souvlaki in a pita, uh, this is definitely the, the place to try because they have created some really modern gourmet, if you want to say the word, uh, combinations that, you know, you never know, they might tantalize your butt taste. Last but not least, we ended our tour of Athens with a visit uh, at Rosides. Rosides in Greek means Russian women. Uh, and I know the word Russia in Russian nowadays uh, is a little bit, you know, of a taboo to announce. Um, but the story is that I think back in the 1950s or 50 years ago, um, uh, some uh, women from, was it Kazakhstan or, you know, uh, a part of the old Soviet Union uh, opened that shop. And since 1990s or 1995, it's now run by a lovely, lovely lady called Anna. Uh, I cannot say enough words about that lady because she is virtually running the place by herself. She's spending the whole, let's say, morning preparing everything. Uh, and then in the afternoon and evening, she's there to serve you, to talk to you, <laughs> to, you know, offer her smile. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, it, it was just lovely. Uh, she also, apart from the traditional meats, she also makes piroski, uh, which is kind of, of, uh, of, of a, I wouldn't call it pastry, but 
in the category of pastries uh, that you find in some um, areas of the of the Balkan um, and, and other countries. Um, all I can say is that, is that if you find yourself in, in that area, uh, please pay a visit because uh, it is just worth supporting that lady, uh, Anna. Uh, and obviously the food that she makes is also very, very good. Uh, and she makes a, her own recipe of a sauce that she puts in the, um, in the food and she will ask you uh, if you want some. Uh, so make sure you say yes, uh, because her smile will be twice as big uh, if you accept that offer. Το μπιφτεκάκι με την κόκκινη σάλτσα που το καταπροχθίζουμε. Στα αγγλικά μιλά ρε. Θα πάρω και λίγο από το... Θέλεις να πολύ Μίζει θρομπιτάκια. Μπράβο. Μίζει θρομπιτάκια. Όχι, οι σφαγγενόπτες είναι πολύ πλακερές. Η γεύση. Έχουμε να φάω πολύ πρωινό αύριο. Θα πάρω δυνάμεις για το... για το αεροπλάνο. So, um, I'm now back in the UK. Uh, heavier <laughs> than when I started that tour of Athens uh, but I was glad that I did it even though it lasted only for three days uh, because it certainly uh, told me that the tradition of a Greek kebab or a Greek souvlaki in Euros uh, is far from over in Greece. Um, now a lot of people will ask me or have already asked me which was my favorite place of all and it is difficult for me to say that first of all because I only tried these places once, so you know you get your occasion where something is not going to go as as well. Uh, and secondly, because I didn't try every single thing that I had there, uh, so it's very difficult for me to to, to give an overall picture. So I'm going to be honest, obviously, and diplomatic, and give you an idea of what my opinion will be on on, on these places. So if you want an amazing pork gyros in pita or on its own, uh, definitely go to Achilles. As I said in the video, by far, if not the best, one of the best pork gyros that I had. Uh, if you want to spend a lovely day um, away from tourists inside the local, let's say, way of life, uh, go to Neasmirny Square, and then when you're hungry, uh, sit at Lefteris because he makes really, really nice souvlakis uh, and kebabs. For a really, 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 really good pork souvlaki, I would also recommend Kostas in Agia Paraskivi Square. Um, he also makes a really nice uh, kebab in pita with his spicy sauce, but his pork souvlaki there was amazing, was really, really tender and juicy and you can eat a lot of them at the same time. Now, if you want to go through a variety of Greek meats um, with amazing, amazing, amazing taste, then Elvis, and if you're a fan of Elvis Presley, obviously, Elvis is the place to go, but especially try the pancetta because it was great. Uh, but if you have time, try the other meats as well. I didn't have the chance to do it, but if I consider that the pancetta was amazing, then all the others would be. Now, if you're not that hungry and you still want to sample something, uh, or you have booked a restaurant and you don't want to get full up, then I would say that Volvi would be the place for you to go. Really tasty uh, Suzuki uh, in pitas and at the size that is not going to fill you up. So you can have one of them uh, and still be ready to have another meal. 
For kebab, definitely <laughs> the kebab place, Tolis Kebab, is definitely the place to go. Really nice kebab, really juicy, really smooth. If you want to feel as if you're at home and you're getting looked after by your mom uh, or your auntie, then the Rosidis, the Russian women, is the place to go. Uh, say hello to uh, Mrs. Anna. Uh, I don't know if she <laughs> remembers us or anything, uh, but it, she's a lovely lady. Uh, she will definitely look after you. If you find yourself at Omonia Square and taking photos, etc., then def definitely Lefteris or Politis uh, is the place to stop. Uh, you will find it in one of those little streets, uh, but you will see a lot of locals waiting outside patiently for their turn to eat. So that will be the place to go. And also, if you are at Sindagma Square and you want to try another amazing uh, souvlaki, it will be Kostas as well, the, the first place that I said. As I said to me, my experience of that wasn't as I expected it, but I have spoken since then to so many locals uh, that they were surprised uh, at that. So most probably it was a one-off. Um, but judging from the queues that were outside every time I passed from there, uh, it's very, very near uh, Cinema Square. Uh, it's definitely worth a visit because for my experience, it will be a one-off. Uh, I will definitely go again uh, in my next visit to Athens because you know I trust my friends. And obviously, if you want to get away from the traditional pita ingredients uh, and you want something more upmarket, more gourmet, definitely, definitely try Mimis uh, because the combination of the meats and the uh, ingredients there uh, will definitely play with your taste buds. And last but definitely not least is Hukat. If you want to try what a skepasti is, definitely go there. Uh, but if you want to try different versions of pita bread, uh, with goat meat, for example, uh, this is another place to go. It's very popular with Athenians, especially with the younger generation. Uh, it's always busy, you know, do it as the Athenians do. The three-day mission in Athens has just ended. I'm about to finish the last of the lot, but not the least, but not least. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this series, this video. I hope you found it very helpful when you visit Athens. And in case you want to ha make your own ones at home, just keep an eye on the link that will appear on your screen at the end of this video for some nice homemade Greek philosophy spicy kebabs. Bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>